in another video, I quickly mentioned distributing images evenly, but let's talk about it right now. So the top row of circles here versus the bottom row of circles, this one is not distributed evenly. So you can see that there's not the same amount of space in between each circle, whereas there is here. So let's talk about how to do that. Let's say that I was using these little ladybugs and I wanted to make a cute little border across the bottom of my slides. Well, it's very difficult to try to line them up and get them all exactly um, exactly evenly spaced. And so what I'm going to do instead is hold down shift and I'm going to select each one. Now, the way that I found this was by going to images and doing a quick image search here um, from the web. And I typed in ladybug PNG. So that's how I found one. And then I did a control D to duplicate it. Okay. So now that I have them all selected, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say, I want you to distribute these horizontally. And now they are, they are spaced exactly the same in between each one. And then if I want them all to be aligned, I would also want to go to align them. And then maybe I align them vertically in the middle. So now the entire row, they're all, um, they're all lined up vertically and they're also distributed across the page. If I wanted to guys, I could move them up and down using either my mouse or like I am right now, the um, up and down arrows on my computer. And I can do the same thing with left to right, okay? And then lastly, I could do a control C, control V and get a whole new group of them to put at the top. So just be aware that by using alignment and distribute evenly, you get the chance to get kind of creative with your slides.